Hi everyone, welcome back to the Nutty Nerdy Needle. My name is Amy. It is the end of July and it's time to show what I have been up to for the last month. So, thought I didn't get really much done, but um, turns out I was wrong. I did get a lot done. So, was it during kind of middle of the month I decided let's count how many stitches I'm doing at any one time. So I ended up looking through my stash of um, basically diary books. I get loads of hardbacks and stuff um, for birthdays and Christmas and stuff and um, I almost taking notes and writing things down. So this time I've had this book for ages. It's the Winchesters Supernatural one of my favorite tv shows and my favorite boys of like all, all time i think and i bought this uh, when i went to a convention over in birmingham i'm gonna say eight nine years ago it's probably that long ago and i've never actually used it so now i'm using it for my cross stitch so i have basically written down projects i'm doing the stitches i've done this month the um, stitches that are left and the percentage so I'm not doing too bad I have to say so this month overall I have done 11,165 stitches that's insane for me anyway I think it is anyway but that's pretty cool and I also did June um because I have on my phone stitch pal so anytime you put your stitches in you can uh, count up how, many, how much you've actually done through the month so that for the month of June I only did 8650 and I only just took um the amount of stitches I decided to add a little bit more for July's one so um as we're talking about that we might as well start with what I've been doing the first one, um, I'll grab, I have my box here, so I'll be leaning over. Um, my first one is, we'll start with Final Fantasy. So, um, we are doing actually pretty well with this, I think. So with Final Fantasy, I got 2,470 stitches done and I am at 20%. So I am really happy with the confetti part here. I was trying to figure out where exactly it was, I thought it was going to be starting with, um, I don't know his name, my husband will be giving out to me for this, but I thought I'd be starting around where his head is, like I've done all the heads of the other ones. But this is actually just the side of his jacket, so the head's going to be up here somewhere. But the only thing, when I'm going to continue on with this one, these colours literally just continue on over. I think he's the last part of this part before I continue on down here. So, yeah. So far so good with this, really happy with how it's turning out. I, I actually do enjoy the confetti, it's actually so much fun. Um, but yeah, this is a nice, as I say, contrast because what one, you can just mind numbing, you can do this away and then when you get the confetti, it's just like, oh yeah, I have something to do. Um, that's just me, I know, it's a little weird. But yeah, so 20% on this. So I am quite happy with how this is turning out. What do you think? Yeah. Now, next one is, what's my next one? Jack. Jack, where's Jack? Okay. I had to take Jack out of my cue snap. You'll find out why later. But Jack right now is coming along really nicely. As I said, from my last one, I think I only had a tiny bit up here. I literally got all this part done. So. Jack Sparrow, loving it. So right now I did 2,882 stitches this month and I am, I'm literally nearly at 20%. I'm 19.77%. I want to get to the 20. So I'll explain the whole 20% and all that there in a the minute. But yeah, so right now I'm literally just going across and say what I explained the last time was just one thread going across, keep going across and then eventually just get to this side and yeah i should be finished i'm kind of doing one row in a night and a half you could say which i for me i think is pretty good like there's only about as i said there's only a handful of treads which is great compared to all my other ones so this is literally all the treads i have on this so it's nice and small and easy to do so yeah that's jack i can't wait to continue on with him 
I'm kind of like, will I continue on or will I just go straight on to my Final Fantasy one next? So like I say, I'll explain all this one later on. Uh, that is me Jack. So my next one then is my Super Mario. But it's actually Yoshi right now. So this is the Super Mario one. And this is my fabulous Yoshi. I'm absolutely loving it. Flying through this little fella right now. And uh, he is, well, I did 3,848 stitches last month. And it's at 10%. Because they're just flying. I'm just loving the, the colours. And um, can be a bit confetti. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see it. But a lot around his eyes and just kind of his body and stuff. Um, there, it's quite confetti around there. But I'm just concentrating kind of black colours right now. Because some of the confetti stuff, I actually don't have the floss for it. I know, crazy starting a project without having all the floss. But um, I just, as is from the last video, I just said I had a notion and I just had to start it. So my plan is to get the floss hopefully next week for this, as well as the floss that I need for the Oak and Shield um, pattern that I showed you a couple months back. Um, I have the material for it, I just don't have the floss. So I'm just going to combine the two of them and it'll, I just need to sit down and just basically figure that out. What do I exactly need? And um, yeah, and that's it. So um, here, this is the start of Mario's hat. And um, this is this fella here, I think you call him the bullet, I think. Um, so that's that's that part. And that's like one of the um, the fire, um, fire flowers, I think they're called. I know I'm terrible with names right now. My, my brain is just not functioning. It was up very early with the little one and she decided to wake up um, at silly o'clock. So um, yeah, functioning great. <laughs> so that's my Yoshi um, as a 10% and I'm really happy with how quickly he's coming along. Um, although with the other ones, as you saw, I've been kind of working across. This is taking a little longer because it's um, I'm doing it just kind of cross country a bit chaotic really I'm kind of half tempted to just bring the material over a little bit and just kind of start going across this way and um, just doing um, blocks I'm not quite sure yet I'll, I'll, I'll see how my um, head feels the next time I pick um, this fella up so we'll just have to wait and see now the next one then is ooh, this is a new start so I have had two new starts this year, or this month, I should say. And I got this from the Tiny Modernist. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. But this is my Christmas in July. I, I hope you're able to see that now. But yeah, I'll just bring it back ever so slightly so you can see. So this material is, oh, I hope, oh no, my sticker's gone. Where, oh no, the sticker's there. This material is Pearl Belfast Linen, 32 count. So I'm finding this one a little tricky to work on. Um, it's, a, as I say, it's a bit uneven. So I've made a few mistakes. There's a bit of frogging going on in this one. I've changed the colours ever so slightly. I think if I was to do this again, there's a brown. I think the sleigh and stuff should be like a black maybe with the reindeers. I don't know. I, that's just me. It's kind of a weird brown. Um, and in the hat, I like you can't really see. I'll just hope you can there now. The Santa's face is kind of a pink. That pink is supposed to be in the hat. I'm not liking that. So I think... I'm going to do like a kind of a Christmassy green in where that is right now and just basically go from there. But yeah, um, loving this pattern. As I said, I can only do it at, during the day because at night time I don't have proper light. Um, I will have to invest in something like that eventually. But um, just right now it's only daytime stitching. Um, as I have a nice little corner over there by my window and that is literally what I do. Um, if I have time during the day is just pick this up because natural light is perfect for when I'm trying to find the holes in this because um, as I said I am finding it a little tricky but as you can see this material is 
quite big. So this is a Christmas bell pull. I think that's what it's called. So it's coming down. So there's a lot more material here. So I also have a Halloween bell pull, but I don't think I'm gonna have it done for this Halloween because this Christmas one has taken me a little longer than I expected. So, so far, the Christmas one, I've done 1,593 stitches and I'm at 12.78%. So yeah, I'm liking the Christmas one. So I have a few different colors. I did change up the one or two of them because I wasn't gone. Like even the red, that red was a very kind of pale, boring looking red. I didn't like it at all you know Christmas to me is like you know your vibrant reds and greens and um so I just I just have to change it make it more brighter and you know happy looking uh -oh. I gotta go and turn the oven off my I, I cooked dinner already like it's only what 10 o'clock there now and I've already have dinner ready for tonight <laughs> so I better go turn that off first I'm back so that was my Christmas one, one of my starts. So my last start then, um, oh no, wrong one. There's a, so many bags and stuff. Um, what's my last one? Oh, it's in relation to Supernatural. So this is, oh yeah, I'm like obsessed with my, my bags that I make. As a cross stitch, once you start, you can't stop. It's so true. I'd say I have not stopped cross stitching since I basically started it and I was like, again, all the sister in laws fault. <laughs> so, um, so this, this is what, what the Q snap that I had on for, um, my Johnny Depp. But over the weekend, I decided that I wanted to start this because I am doing it, um, in 10th stitch. Never done that before, so we were down with the in-laws over the weekend, and sister-in-law um, basically showed me what I had to do, and this is great fun. <laughs> so it's a big material, so it's a thirty-two count easy. I'm assuming easy count is just says easy C, um, and this came from one two three stitch. Having it gridded makes life so much easier. But this is my Supernatural season 15 poster. And this is what I've done. So it's literally that tiny little piece there. But that is 372 stitches and it is only 0.09%. This thing is going to be huge. So this material, or this material, this colour I just seems to be kind of going all around here. Eventually I'll get to the heads and faces. So yeah, we'll just concentrate on that. Doing the whole 10 stitch. It's a little tricky with this. Again, I think this will be only like a maybe a daytime unless I get um you know better lighting. Um my plan is actually the husband was asking me what the, in the world I want for my birthday. So I was thinking maybe a kind of a, a lap stand type thing and this couch would be perfect to put that down. Um, and I have a lamp with a magnifying glass that I could literally use that while I'm doing this and it probably would make my life a little easier. Like it's a little smaller. I'm not used to having it this small, but I'm loving the coverage of it. Like it is, it is just awesome. So I could only do, what was it? I think it's six threads because I only bought six floss drops with me. I mean, fool that I am. I should have bought a lot more. And that's another thing. I'm going to have to make a load more floss drops because yeah, this one has a lot. I actually have no idea how many colors there are. But yeah, um, these, um, this is baggy one and baggy two. Now, not all of this is for Supernatural. Um, half or maybe two thirds is Supernatural and the rest belongs to um, the Lord of the Rings one, um, the Fro Frodo and Gal 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 Galadriel. Galadriel. Yeah, I can't say that, my mouth. <laughs> anyway, that's for those two projects. So yeah, I've been having fun trying to find the flask for each one. So yeah, I'm kind of the person where I'll just do one 
color find the flask and then do the next color and just kind of do it that way instead of just doing it all at once that would probably make life a lot easier but um I pro someday i will have to sit down and just do get them all onto flask straps but as i said i have to make more flask straps so yeah that's my supernatural i am hoping to get some more of that done now in the next couple of weeks as i said so happy with that how cool i know teeny tiny but i'm happy with that so that's it um i do have one more little thing um it is literally a little thing um uh, my friend was over in scotland and may have got her into cross stitch myself but when she was over there she bought this wee little highland cow <laughs> how cute is that like and the frame that's literally how big it's going to be like i love my Highland cows, absolutely loved them. I saw them last year in Scotland and I just had a weakness. I was like, I just wanted to take one home. They were absolutely adorable. So my plan actually was last week was to actually start this. Um, I was gonna drop baby girl off to the childminder, head to work. I had an hour to kind of kill um, before I had to start work. But um, yeah, that did not happen because baby girl woke up a little later than expected so we were kind of rushing around so by the time i got to work my normal space where i would park was completely full so i had to go down um further as my grandfather literally lives about a 10 minute walk from the um my workplace so i decided i'll drive down there park there he said i could park whenever i wanted to so by the time i got into work it was um 10 minutes before I had to actually start. So I did not get a chance to start this little fella. But this should, this guy, I don't know how many stitches there, are, but I should get him done in a day or two or so. But yeah, how cool is that? So hopefully by next month, I will have a finish. Yay. So yeah, that's it. That's me for the moment. Um, Can't really think of it. I didn't actually buy anything this month. Very happy with myself. Because I've just got too much going on right now between, as I said, just too many projects. I, I did the whole Final Fantasy thing, trying to get it done before Christmas. Not going to happen. Um, unless I do it every single day till Christmas and have do at least, what was it, six, seven hundred stitches a day. That's not going to happen. <laughs> so I might have it done for Christmas next year for my husband. <laughs> but yeah that's it now for the moment so yeah that's me now done and just want to say thank you for looking at the video um hopefully this isn't not too long of a video free and um as i say if you like anything just give us a like and a comment down below and i will link up everything um belonging to the patrons where to get them and all that stuff so um yeah as I say, bye for now thanks hi everyone so doing the editing for my video and i come came to realise that I never told you about my plan. And I was telling you around my Jack Sparrow that I would tell you all about it. And it never, no, I totally forgot to do it. So here I am. Um. So yeah, so if you notice, um, a lot of my projects, I finished kind of at 10, 15, 20%. So when I was doing Yoshi, I literally flew through him and got 5% done in like no time. And I was just like, mind blown by that. So I was just like, well, if I do 5% for each project, I should do that pretty quickly so that's what I've been doing all month and I came to realize as well that I never did a, a, a June plan so this is basically what I'm trying to do is 5% for nearly every project um, depending on the project obviously so with my Super Mario and my Jack there are about 50,000 stitches so I can do kind of 5% in about four maybe five days depending on how much time I actually get done. And then I'll go on to the next project. So my next one is Final Fantasy. Now, the only thing is that is over 100,000 stitches. So my plan for that is to do 2.5%. Now, 2.5%, if I got my calculations right, is 2,500 stitches. Because a 10 by 10 square... Is 100 and that is 0.10% in my Final Fantasy 
So yeah, if I do two and a half thousand stitches, that works out at 2.5%. I, I hope my maths is right. Um, so yeah, that's my plan for that. And with doing this, I find that I'm putting up a lot more up on my Instagram. So, because beforehand I just do my weekly, change it up every week, do a weekend one, and it just seems to take a lot longer for putting stuff up. So, but this way, if you have been following me on Instagram, I have been putting, I feel like I've been putting up a lot more content um, since I started doing this last month. And yeah, it's just crazy. So yeah, that's my plan. So with the Christmas one now, um, again, that's just during the day. Um, I will just, I'm, that's only, I think, 12,000 stitches. So I'm just going to be putting it up at every 10%, I think. So there'll be a little video then, um, you know, like video TikTok type thing um, at the end of the month or not the end of the month, end of the project. And still haven't quite decided on the um, supernatural one because a supernatural one is nearly 400,000 stitches. So... I'm like, I always put up the 1% for the big projects. I put up 1% and it's normally 5 or 10% on my videos. Again, you'll get this all on Instagram. So I need to decide what percentage. Will it be like every 2%, every 3%? Um, I find that if I was to do every 5 that I'll never get it done. So I'm thinking a few more um, stitches. I think maybe every 3% and just work like that. When I see how many stitches there is in the 3% once I get it done, um, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's basically my plan for um, basically the rest of the couple of months. I probably won't be doing any more plans for a while because what I'm doing right now is working for me. So I'm just going to keep keep doing it basically. And once I get bored, I'll let you know. So yeah, that's it. Just say bye for now. Definitely for now. Talk to you later.